Welcome back to our discipleship tutorials. Today, Scott, will be going over our advanced Bible study methods. Yes. And we'll kick things off with our inductive study. Inductive study. And Scott, why don't you tell us the inductive study centers around the idea that we don't impose our thoughts onto the Bible. Correct. Right. So right. why would we not want to do that? Why is that a bad thing? Well, so because, um, it, you know, we're probably familiar with all sorts of errors that have come out of people bringing their own interpretation mm -hmm. to the Bible and not allowing the Bible to interpret itself right. to us. Right. Right. Great point. And, and so, you know, errors can occur. So um, it's what we're trying to do here is to be as careful as we can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to interpret what God has for us and not bring our own agenda to the words of, of, of the Bible. Yep, well said. Right. And so a safeguard for this is to use uh, a little method which is called OIA, or observe, interpret, and apply. So first of all, I want to observe what's in the Bible, and I just want to see what's there. And yeah. then after I see what's there, then I go through my interpretation, what's the meaning? And then okay. after I interpret it, that's when I apply it to my life. Okay. And what's very common, and it's kind of a natural tendency, is to jump ahead and to go straight to application. And I'm sure we've both done that before, right? Yes, I we, have. we read a verse and then we immediately say, this is for me. And I apply it, but I apply it wrong. I know exactly what's being said here. I don't need to do any more study. Everything's yep. great. I get it. And I'm going to apply it like this. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I won't say often, uh -huh. but, but there have been times when I've jumped the gun. I've gone sure. too quickly mm -hmm. and, uh, and not, not uh, interpreted it properly. Yes, likewise. Yeah. So what are some tools... Or what should we be using when we're doing the inductive study? Well, so when we're going through an inductive study, first of all, I, I would just like to say that I think small chunks are the way to go. Great point. Sure. Not to take too much too fast. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, um, you know, I'm looking here at the book of Isaiah. I just happened to, and I'm here at chapter 48. And I don't know, I might take a look at, do an inductive study of of maybe verse 1 through verse 5. Right, that's manageable. Yeah. Right? Right. And so what I would do there is I would break out my my pen, mm -hmm. right? I'd have a pad of paper with me. Mm -hmm. I'd probably have some highlighter pencils mm -hmm. with me. Yeah. Right? And um, I, would, I would designate each color to some sort of of a uh, topic that's coming out here. Sure. Right? So if, if uh, every time I, I see God, I, may, I might highlight that in a certain color. Mm -hmm. um, if it has something to do with uh, God's holiness, I may uh, in yellow. Or, or uh, if there's something regarding uh, man's redemption, I may, or sin, I, I may make that red. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I, I, what I want to do is, is and I might, may make some notes on the side. Sure. I may underline something. Mm -hmm. um, what I am trying to do is, is get all the interpretation. I'm trying to squeeze out yep. all, the, all that's there when I'm interpreting it. So I, I'll notice what's there first. I'll read through and observe what's there. Then... I might apply some, some additional tools that we've been talking about that mm -hmm. we're going to go into detail about later in, the, um, in this Bible study series, how, you know, tools that are available. One of the tools I, I might have on hand would be a, a, um, a concordance. Sure, sure. Right? I may have a, uh, a um, commentary. Right. Right? Yep. What has some scholar said about this mm -hmm. about this area? Mm -hmm. um, I may have uh, a Bible encyclopedia right. that 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 describes the area that's that's you know that this area of Scripture is talking about here. So, or the place on you know and what the history is there and so forth and so on. So that those are some examples like of, of some of the things that that I might have on hand when I was when doing an inductive study. Now here's a question for you. Yeah. It's easy to 
jump ahead and go straight to the commentary. So I like observed it, I read it, okay, I'm now going to the commentary, yep. but now I'm going to use a tool and I'm going to look up the interpretation yes. rather than doing the hard work and struggling, which is to find out what it means for myself, to stretching yep. my limits. Yep. Would you? What do you think about that? Would you recommend going straight to the commentary or and trying your best to figure out first and then checking? What do you think? I've always found it to be, um, again, this is all done prayerfully. Right. Right. So we begin this whole exercise in prayer. For right? sure. Absolutely. So I, so I, I enjoy the work. Mm -hmm. I actually enjoy it. Yeah. You know, myself. So, so I will, I will do the work first. Um, and before I go to some commentary where some other, uh, scholar mm -hmm. has, has, uh, written down his ideas about this area, um, I may come up with my own conclusions. Mm -hmm. And what I'll use that commentary for is to bounce my interpretation off what he has like it. Uh, uh, written down and compare the two. Great. See what it is that I might have missed? Sure. Is sure. it possible that he missed something? I suppose it is possible. Mm -hmm. Right, that, that perhaps you know I, I picked up on something that even the scholar didn't right, right. didn't see, but right. but I will bounce off of off of uh, a commentary some of the interpretations that that I that I've some conclusions that I've come to. Okay, about so what it's saying. so you're, we're checking that our conclusions are being found by other people, yes. by other well-trained, God-fearing people, yes. making sure we're not out in left field. Correct. And then once we get that interpretation. We personalize it, and yes. we can ask questions such as, how does this affect the way I view myself, view others, view God? Yeah. How does this change the way I interact with God, with other right. people? There's so many different ranges of applications. Yes, yes, and and I think that that should be done prayerfully as well. Right. Right, so so when we get to the end of, of, uh, uh, of our observation and our interpretation, now we're going to think about and pray about, Lord, how should I apply what it is you've just shown me mm -hmm. from your word? Is there anywhere in my life that, mm. that, mm. that, that I, can, I can bring this into my life to, uh, to better serve you, mm. to better um, uh, follow Jesus uh, in a better way? Mm. Um, so, yeah. That's a great point because the, the whole process is done prayerfully, like you said, done through God's power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And that includes the application. Lord, where in my life am I lacking? Where in my life do I need to apply this? And he's able to show us and he wants to show us. Very much so. Very much so, yes. I couldn't say it better. So, so we, we go into this inductive study being led by God. Mm -hmm. And we come out of this inductive study being led by God. Yes. Right. So it's 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 God in the beginning, God all through the middle, mm -hmm. and God at the end, um, desiring to to pour into us the things that He has for us here in this in His Word. So so it is much more in depth than mm -hmm. than say a uh, a word study or mm -hmm. a, or a topical study. This is this is more in depth, but it's uh, it's so good. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really is good. Yeah, it's a, a privilege to study this way. To that God's gifted us with His Word, and that we can know Him through it. Amen. And and I, just to say as well, the the additional uh, tools. Mm -hmm. What a blessing to have some of right. these other tools at our disposal, and um, you know, just to sort of whet your appetite to what's coming. Uh, some of these these Bible study tools are are, you know, there's. There's Christians all over the world that wish they had mm. the kind of things that we have access to, mm -hmm. so uh, to help us uh, in our in our uh, reading and studying God's word. For sure. Yeah. So we hope that you found this helpful. We hope you're encouraged to now yeah. go out and try the inductive method for yourself yep. to observe, to interpret, to apply, uh, to be praying through the whole process, to bounce off what you've concluded with other uh, godly Christians who've also studied the Bible. And we hope that overall, as a result, you become a better disciple as a result of it. Amen. God wants to talk to us through his word, and he will uh, if we approach it properly. And uh, we just hope that this, this method can be a blessing for you as it has to us. Right. For us, yeah. So God bless you, and we'll see you uh, for the next uh, advanced study method coming up next.